Okay, now comes the fun part. We are going to cut out the tongue. Now, I have not attached it to the sole yet. That'll be a separate video. But um, we're going to do the part that most people are a little bit nervous to do when they're doing their first shoe, and that is to cut out the tongue. Okay, so before you cut out your tongue, what you're going to want to do is measure around the top of the foot. And just for accuracy's sake, I'm going to sort of stuff this into the sole. Now, it's a little, it's slightly bigger than the sole right now because you're going to do a second felting after you stick it into the shoe so that it's really a beautiful, uh, seamless thing and it has a, you know, it really captures the curve of the, of the sole. Okay? So, it should be slightly, ever so slightly bigger, okay? So we're going to get it like that. And we're going to measure across here to here. And then just to make it easy, because my uh, thing is kind of messed up, this is my center point. So right here. So right here is my center point. And what I want to do is take something that's going to be halfway. This is my, oh, this is messed up. Let's not even pretend. Let's just say half of this four. So we need to do like an inch over here and an inch over here. So this is going to be where my tongue is going to go. So it's even on each side. So it doesn't look stupid. We don't want it to look stupid. Okay, just go up like this so that you don't miss the curve as you keep going up. It's easy to do. So that's like where the width is going to be. And I actually want this to go down a little bit further down into the toes. So we'll go right there. Because this is going to end up here. This is not going to be a boot. This is going to be an athletic shoe. And I need to get lots of support down here up on top of my toes. So here we go. First cut. And this is we're making our tongue right now. In order to peel this back, I should cut over here. Now yesterday I dip dyed this. I thought that would be fun rather than dyeing all of my fiber first and then putting it on. I thought, you know what, I'm just going to dip dye it. I think it might go faster and I think it might give it a cool effect. And I'm happy with it. And I'll go down a little further even. A little bit more. Did that make you nervous? It made me nervous first time I did it. Okay, so that's going to be partly the tongue. Now, we're going to go cut this down to where it's actually going to be. It's actually going to be like this. Maybe even lower, actually. Like that. Like that. So really, most of my, most of my shoe is going to be blue. So we'll go ahead and chop on this area. Now, if you don't get yours super precise, don't worry about it. It's handmade shoe, so you can say, oh, I totally meant to do that. You know, it's a work of art. So cut yourself some slack and do not be married to one idea because it will still work. There are always ways to modify your design. Ooh, this is so much. I'm just going to have to cut it down this way just to get down to where I need to be. That's a lot of felt, I know, but I needed it to, for my tongue. Um, maybe I didn't need to go that much, but uh, always better to err on the side of caution. And you can do all kinds of things with your extra felt. All kinds of projects can be done with that. Maybe we'll do some later. I'll show you what you can do with your offcuts. Okay. 
Now, starting to look a little bit more like a sporty shoe, isn't it? So, what I want to do, I've got that underneath there. Sprinkle like, you know what, I want it to go even a little bit, well, I don't want to go too far. I need some stability in there. So this is too long now, so I will cut this. See how I've, I need it extra because it's going in now. It's got to go in. And I'll just go ahead and cut up over here, like so. Now, you see how that looks kind of dumpy right there? What you need to do is you have to cut the inside here so that it doesn't look so clunky. So you trim the edges a little bit. Because you do want thick felt, but you don't really need a thick tongue so much. So trim that up. You know, if you were working with leather or something, you'd be sanding that down. So we want our edges to look cool. Looking a little more shoe-like now, isn't it? Less boot-like. I'm going to do the same thing over here a little bit. I, I want to get this little thing off. And then we're going to felt these edges.